So let's talk about putting bi very big numbers or very small numbers into your calculator. Take a look at the problem that I've got on a sheet of paper. You might want to pause me and write it down to make sure we're on the same page. All right. How would you put that into your calculator? I have your handy dandy course approved calculator right here. So let's start by putting our 5.1243 times 10 to the negative 6 into our calculator. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit 5. Point one, two, four, three. Never has a stimulating movie been made like this one. All right, now we need to put that power of 10 in here. This is really important. This is the heart of the video. To get this into your calculator, what you want to do is hit second, then put Scrolling down, 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 down. See that X to the negative 1 key right there where it says EE? -E? I hit second right there. That means I'm shifting and I'm looking at the blue functions. I want that EE -E button. That EE -E button is magical. So I've hit second and I'm going to go ahead and hit the EE, -E, which is the X negative 1 key, see? And what that does is that makes an E appear in my calculator. Now I'm going to hit the negative sign and then I'm going to hit 6. What, that's what your calculator screen shows, but what your calculator actually reads it as is your calculator has done a couple important things. It's not only, that EE not only puts in times 10 to the negative 6 for you, but it also drops parentheses, so it reads that all as one number. Your calculator screen shows But what it actually reads or views in its computer brain is that number right there. So it's real important that you use that EE button because it will drop parentheses and save you from making mistakes. Notice I didn't put the power of 10 in or 10 anywhere and I just put 5.14 EE. All right, so now I'm wanting to multiply. So I'm going to hit times, then my next number, 3.418, 3.418. Point one four eight, and I've got times 10 to the negative third, so I'm going to hit my second button again, second. That puts me in shift, so I hit the EE, which is my X negative 1 key, EE, and negative 3. Now I hit enter, and by enter I mean the equal sign. Now, this is what your calculator shows. The only issue is, however, whoops, the only issue is, however, I have an answer that has, according to this problem, I've got five sig figs in the top number four sig figs in my bottom number, so my answer should be able to have four sig figs. But my calculator is only showing me two. How can I see more sig figs? I can do that by changing the display mode in my calculator. Again, I want to hit my second key, and then I'm going to hit this key right here for science engineering. So I hit second. Then I hit science and engineering, and that is on my screen. Flow, science, engineering hit the arrow keys here. See this arrow? I hit the arrow key once and that moves me into science. I want scientific mode so I'm going to hit enter now. When I did that it automatically puts my answer into scientific notation. So now I have 1.6312964 times 10 to the negative 8. So now I have more than enough numbers in order to get my four sig figs. 1.613 times 10 to the negative 8 would be the answer that I'm going for there. And that's how you do it. Be forewarned now that you're in scientific mode, so every single problem you work from this point 
forward will be in scientific notation mode. To get it back to the normal, right, to get it back to normal, ah, forget getting it back to normal, let's say you're clear. All right, well, we'll deal with getting it back to normal in another video there. I'm just making things dip more difficult there. All right, that's it. Beep.